Hi, I'm Ronald Mesa. Today, I wanted to show you how to combine these electronic components. I have the Omnibus F4 all-in-one flight controller and the Leeson PDB that was originally made for the SP Racing F3, but it could be used with any flight controller. So let's get started. The first step will be to install the butter alarm. Make sure that the polarity is correct. You can see the marks for polarity on top of the buzzer alarm. Use a soldering helper and any other element that you have to hold the buzzer alarm in place. I'm using the spool of the soldering material. Now what I will do is add a little bit of flux. And then start soldering. Make sure that both surfaces are joined correctly. Your soldering should look like a Hershey's or like a little volcano shape. The legs of the buzzer are a little bit long, so we'll have to trim them a little bit. Okay, now that we have the butter installed, let's add some soldering material to the board. This way it will be easier to join our wires to it. Just add soldering material to all the pads that you think you will use. The next step will be to select the voltage that we're gonna provide to our video transmitter and to our camera. In my case, both of my video transmitter and camera, they work with 12 volts. So I'm gonna short these two pads. You have to be really careful here in this step. You don't wanna short all the three pads, just the two that you're gonna be using. Now it's time to connect the ESCs. I'm gonna clean a little bit these ESCs. I'm installing this power distribution board on a previously built drone. So I'm basically rebuilding this. Wanna make it way more cleaner. So now I'm thinning the tip of the wire and then I'll proceed to join it to the power distribution board. Your join should look shiny and round if it's not, you should add some more flux until you get this aspect. These ESCs I'm using, they are opto. That means they only have two wires, but we don't really need to use the ground. So I'm gonna remove the ground wire. And this step, you will do it only if you will install this power distribution board with an SP Racing F3, because they can communicate via pin headers. So just for a demonstration, I'll connect these ESCs, but please don't connect the ESC signal if you're using a different board other than the SP Racing F3. Next step is to add the battery main power supply. Now I'm gonna add some additional wires. This is to provide energy to the butter alarm and also for battery monitoring. So now I'm connecting the power to the video transmitter. This is a 12 volt output because we choose to output 12 volt. Now, as I was mentioning previously, I don't really need to connect these signal wires onto the PDB. They're gonna be connected directly onto the flight controller. So first I need to lock this power distribution board before I proceed to connect the flight controller. 
So first thing I'm gonna connect is the buzzer alarm. So these are the two wires that you have to connect in order to make the buzzer alarm functional. The ground is always closer to the border of the flight controller and the five volt rail is always in the middle. Now I'm gonna connect the battery monitoring. So it's these two pins next to it. Now it's time to connect the RC receiver. So this is the signal wire. The central rail is the positive five volts. And then the external rail is ground. Now we're gonna connect the signal wire from the ESCs and these are the four pinholes that you will have to connect. So they're in order. So I'm connecting now motor number one, then motor number two, motor number three, and motor number four cut the video signal wire because I'm gonna bypass it through the board. So I need to extend this wire because it was too short. I just joined it. I'm gonna cut it to the appropriate length. Again, thin the wire tip and then proceed to connect. I'll do the same with the wire that goes to the video transmitter. So this way we add the on-screen display to our camera image. Next thing I'm gonna do is to connect the LED signal wire. So that's gonna be on the PWM5 pinhole. And then the power supply is gonna come from these other two pinholes on the other side of the board. So again, the external one is ground and the central one is 5 volts. And since my LED strip has another butter alarm, I want to use both. So I'm going to connect it as well. And that's pretty much it. So from here, all you have to do is organize your components on your frame. But pretty much you're, we're done here. That's it. Was pretty simple. There's nothing else we have to do here. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you on the next tutorial.